Welcome back. You're watching the New Jersey Morning Show. I'm Mike Favetta. And I'm Cara DeFalco. Our next guest is a trained pastry chef and New Jersey native who has launched cannabis products to several independently owned and operated dispensaries across the state. Here to introduce her product and tell us more about her journey in the food world is Mata Figaro. Mata, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Hi, New Jersey. <laughs> We're so happy that you're here. So so you are the owner of Butter Cake. Can you explain what it is and some of you, the recent products that you've launched for anybody who's maybe unfamiliar with the cannabis world? Yeah, absolutely. When I graduated from culinary school back in 2010, uh, I excelled and I just ran through the restaurant industry and I was in Miami and Pittsburgh. And then finally I came back home to New Jersey and I took over the pastry program at Roots Steakhouse in Morristown, New Jersey. And that was when... Uh, I really just started pumping out killer butter cakes. Like people were traveling from all over the state to come to Roots to have my butter cake. Um, and then once I was done working in the restaurants, I started my own business, Butter Cake, back in 2015 out of Jersey City. And I started that by selling butter cakes and seasonal sauces. <laughs> and after a little bit, a customer asked me if I could turn it into an edible and I haven't looked back since and here we are. Yeah, that's so amazing. You know, the first time I was introduced, you know, by a consulting chef that uh, marijuana being an herb for seasoning, I was like, really? That's a thing? So that's great that you were able to incorporate that. What inspired you to combine your pastry chef training with cannabis? Oh, man, just the person that was asking me for help, she had a son that was like, Mom, you should really just try edibles because she was an older woman and she had no interest in actually inhaling or consuming in that way because of the stigmas from before. And so I just found that that was wildly inspirational to me that I could have something that not only provides comfort through eating, but actually medicinally adds value too. So for me, it was a combination of hospitality and medicine. And that was, for me, was like the most inspiring part. It still is today. Hmm. I love that. And, and uh, you know, your brand alone, uh, it's uh, obviously female owned, minority owned dispensary brand is the only one available in New Jersey and Delaware. What was the approval process? And tell us about that journey, because I have heard some horror stories. It was crazy. <laughs> so I didn't actually go after a dispensary. I went after a manufacturing license. My okay. company is called Can Powerment. We're fully licensed in the state. Super excited to be the first ones to do it. And so we're manufacturing the butter cake brand. The approval process was intense. It took 444 days to actually get licensed. It cost a lot of money to get licensed. And then it took 160 days to get our first product approved, which is now available on shelves. That is so great that you can just pick it up in a store. So the question is, what is next for Butter Cake? You're able to uh, go out and sell these and anybody in New Jersey can get them. Uh, do you have new flavors planned, maybe distribution, new manufacturers? What are your goals? Absolutely. So our first product, it's an oral dissolvable strip similar to the Listerine strip. And that's why we all have our tongues out because you put it on your tongue, it starts to dissolve and you get the effect. It's 10 milligrams per strip. It's sugar-free, gluten-free, and vegan. And vegan, So it really is a product that anybody with any kind of dietary restriction can enjoy. It's super fun, just like the Butta Cake brand, but it's also a little slice of affordable luxury. We put it in really pretty packaging uh, for everybody to enjoy, and we make sure that it's hard for the little ones to get into. But this is what it looks like. That is awesome. And and I, you, how did you, it's, I have to ask, like, cook to cook. I'm not a trained chef, but I know. How did, were you able to get the dosing down to a science? Because I feel like that's always the struggle when it comes to edibles is like, how much of this stuff is actually getting in there? Well, yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's science. Once I started to really get into this by year two and three, I found myself turning into a mathematician and a chemist more than a pastry chef. Um, so I had to teach myself a lot of new skills in order to get this science down and correct. And now that I'm partnered with a huge MSO called uh, the Cannabis Company, formerly known as Col uh, Columbia Care, they also provide me with so much technical assistance. And it's really shown me that even though I was in the unregulated market at first, I was still getting my numbers down really, really good. And with the support of the testing labs, I'm able to like <laughs> 
basically get it down to the actual milligram. It's pretty that fun. That is incredible. That is incredible. Congratulations to you, Mata, on, on the launch of your products. Thank we you. know it takes such a long time. We wish you so much success. Where can folks find you and your products? Where do we go? You can find us in eight independently owned and operated dispensaries across the state. Holistic Solutions, Valley Wellness, Urban Dispensary, Noir Dispensary. You can also find us in uh, both Columbia Care Cannabis locations down in Deptford and Vineland. Very good, Matta. Thanks so much for joining us today. We appreciate your time. Have a great weekend. That is so cool. And you know, I like... Well, you're a meteorologist, so you're probably numbers are, are good for you, too. The thought of having <laughs> to, like, relearn the chemistry of sure. something like that versus, yeah. you know, journalism, culinary. I'm like, I, you know, the, I'm so impressed by her. Right. I mean, the you know, the best chefs in the world have a little bit of a science background or if they have a science background, they could be a great chef. Right. Because uh, it is a lot about measurement, but down to the milligram. That's some impressive uh, measuring there. So props to her that she was able to get that going. Really, really cool stuff. Very nice. Good for her. Well, guys, you can watch us on New Jersey on most smart TVs and mobile devices. Our channel is also now on News On. So you can get their app on your phone or you can get the News On app on Roku, Fire TV and Samsung TV.